Over my 17 years on this planet, I've played a lot of video games, it's fair to say. And for better or for worse, they've shaped a lot of my life. And one of those games that I've played has consistently proven itself to be nostalgic, fun, just all around a good experience that I have loved wholeheartedly since I first played it a long time ago in 2015. Now, however, it's not in the same state it was when I started playing. And it's sad, it's sad, but it is quite an old game. Now, given what's been happening with said game, anyone who is familiar with it will already know what game I'm talking about, but for anyone who isn't, let me enlighten you. Team Fortress 2. It defined the class-based shooter. Long before you had games like Overwatch or Apex, you had TF2. And the funniest part of that is, TF2, which came out in 2007, is still competing with both of those games. And to an extent, it's even outlived Overwatch, since the sequel is obviously coming out. Now, that's as may be. But since 2020, Team Fortress 2 has declined and that's no fault of the community or the game it's the fault of a crisis which i needn't explain to anyone familiar with the situation but effectively to dumb it down there has been an influx of bot accounts on the casual servers on tf2 since sort of started around 2020 and this has resulted in servers being completely taken over by bots to a point where the regular players can't even kick the bots because they're joining too quickly. And the issue is far from resolved. And the problem the game faces is the developers are failing to acknowledge it. And there's actually a movement that started as of today when I record this. That movement began sort of yesterday on the 26th of May when a peaceful protest was staged online and it was the Save TF2 movement, and that struck a chord with me because it made me realise just how fragile some things are, just how... It's not necessarily the fragility of life because it's a video game, but I like to think that video games have lives, and TF2 has lived a very long one. So far, it's lived for 14 years, and that'll be 15 this October. And I, would, I want to be there when it turns... 15. I remember celebrating birthdays of TF2. I remember 2017, I celebrated the 10 year anniversary of the game, which is incredible because not many games these days last for 10 years. I mean, what are the few you can name off the top of your head? Most people will say Minecraft, that's lasted for 10 years. But even then, not many make this milestone, let alone 15. And the game's community is what's kept it alive for so long. But there is only so far a community can carry a game. And that's becoming very evident by the fact that the TF2 team are not acknowledging anything. And by not doing anything, new updates, new content, new anything, it's really making it quite hard for the community because we love this game. This game has shaped a lot of my sort of adolescence. I grew up sort of wanted, I remember I wanted to um, cosplay as the scout from TF2. But then, th then I grew up. But as I say that, this game grew alongside me. It's not much younger than I am. And because of that, it's almost like a younger sibling. And you love it as such. It's, 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 it becomes more than a game. It becomes an experience. It becomes, it becomes a part of your life. And it's become part of mine. And that's why it's more upsetting to watch the neglect it's faced by the developers. Because... It's a game that I know I'm not the only one that feels like this about. And 
on Steam it is consistently one of the top performing games. So I struggle to understand how such an achiever can be overlooked so significantly. I want to live in a world where a game can be taken care of by the community and the developers. Or, in a, in a responsible way, at least the developers hand over the game to the community so they can take care of it for the future. Because it's the community that is saving the game at the moment. And that's what's meaningful. But simultaneously, you could very well see this game celebrate a 20 year anniversary with an active community. And that will be impressive. I think that will probably be the first time in history any game has celebrated a 20 year anniversary, while ha a multiplayer game that is, while having an active player base that still plays on the regular servers hosted by the company. But that's a fantasy for the meantime because that cannot happen without support, without love. So to sum it up and put a little bow on it, Team Fortress 2 is my favourite game of all time. I love this game wholeheartedly. I love everything about it, the characters, the story behind it, the development, the art style. The comics are so good. And even the shorts, the Meet the Team videos, Expiration Date, all of this stuff. It's brilliant. It's really, really good. And I just want to see that continue. I want to see the game that is pretty much fueled by love for it. And that's what TF2 is at the moment. It's a game that's running on love from the community. So, to sum it up, I think we all have our favorite games and it's always hard to see them go. But when you know you can do something about the death of yours, then it makes it all the more meaningful when you don't do something. I have been Scotty. Thank you for watching this slightly different video tonally. And I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Bye for now.